Hey guys, uh, my name is Sydney Elias. I play ABC Invoked. I'm gonna show you guys my deck profile, my personal preferences. You know, uh, this deck has topped at locals a couple times, and yeah, let's just get right into the I wanna play. Double A, double B, double C. Why don't you run three? The reason I don't run three Bs is because you also have the normal summon in Alistair the Invoker. You don't want this to be a normal summon unless you have it to be. This is a combo piece in my mind, not a normal summon. Okay. Now, your other normal summons include Gold Gadget, which is a 2 of, as well as Silver Gadget, which is a 2 of. I would run three, but this deck isn't made to put out a buster all the time. I would rather get out of Mecha, but I think it's a lot stronger. Especially in this meta. Here's your big boy, Alistair the Invoker. If you have, so when you normal summon him, you can search out the fusion spell called uh, Invocation. Let's see, let me find it for you guys. Now, this card, when you activate it, it allows you to use fusion materials from their graveyard for the fusion summon of monsters of every attribute. This is probably the best card in your deck, and it's a combo piece. This is the hardest card to lose to Trickstar Reincarnation. Okay. So... You can only allow run one? I personally only run one. That's just personal preference. I see it as a combo piece, not as a game winner. Okay. So... That's it for the monster lineup. Uh, obviously, we're playing in 2018, so we have to have hand traps. Why, um, you don't side hand traps? No, you need to main hand traps or else you're going to lose if you lose the die roll. This deck cannot play through disruption, so... I prefer 3 droll in the main because it just stops Pendulum Magician FTK. Because obviously Ogre hurts Pendulum Magicians, but the FTK can play through Ogre and Baylor, which I also have three of. But Droll makes it so that they can't search the Instant Fusion after they Dark War. If they hard draw the Instant Fusion, they have a chance to FTK, but that's about it. I also play Brilliant Fusion Engine. Some people criticize me for it. I think it's just pretty. No, but no, the actual competitive usage of it is... You get the Trick Clown out, which helps you get to Saryuja faster. Saryuja is going to win you the game. If you can special summon a letter, it almost always equals a Buster and a Mechaba. And bo boosting both of them, as well as having an Alistair in hand, makes ABC Buster almost able to kill Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Okay. Crazy. And But yeah, this is mainly used to get to Saryuja. Saryuja is going to win games. If you guys didn't see YCS Bochum, uh, guy pulled out two Skull Dreads in, in World Chalice. I mean... That guy just won the game because of it. Skull Dread is a win game winning card. All these Link 4s are really healthy for the metagame, and uh, this helps you get to any of them. Four loads also went out to a lot of cards. This helps you get to it. We run the one Dragon Ravine and the one Distrudo. We also run the one Mare Mare. This Why is you run Mare Mare for? So this is to make us our Yuja if you're going second. Normally when you go second, you want to go Ravine for Distrudo. And then, this will probably get disrupted, we don't run Gamma, so it's really hard to, you know, keep it on board or get Distrudo on the board. Um, but the reason we run Mare Mare is if we can special summon it off of uh, Yazi's effect, we'll go into this later. But Yazi's effect is that it can pop itself in one of your opponent's cards and special summon a worm from the deck. This worm will allow you to make three tokens, and you can make a Link Karibo, a Link Spider, use Mare Mare and the token. Link 4 for Saryuja, you have your zones open, you've only lost half your life, you popped one of their cards, and you get the special summon effect as well as the draw 4. Draw 4 is the most important part of summoning Saryuja, and you have to do it. But yeah, this is obviously part of the engine. This card is good. It's amazing. It's you, you know. Why do you only run three though? Uh, Dragon Ruby. I mean, why do you only run one Dragon Ruby? That's my last. Well, is it your personal preference? Or? It's it's personal preference. You can run two. Triple terraforming. I mean, that's really good. You have ancient fairy effect. Um, I just I don't like seeing this card going second. And if it gets ashed or o if this gets over or ashed, you just lose. There's like you've lost three cards already because you lose the ravine, the card you pitched, and you're not gonna get to Distrudo, so you have to have gadget, special summon a letter, maybe Clee Fort Genius and like, you know, that's that's the very most you can do after a ravine gets negated. So now into the majority of the spells. We're in triple terraforming. Unfortunately I only have one ulti. One secret. It's this this common hurts me. I wish I had pulled the secret from the Kaiba collection. I got four. And unfortunately, I only got two ashes, so, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll cry. Best card in the deck, terrifying. Triple Union Hanger, 
Obviously, this card's a plus one. Not why not run it in ABCs? It's also a combo piece. You search it off Ancient Fairy. You can if you have a letter in hand with an Ancient Fairy, it equals a Buster Decoy. Which field spell do you think is much better, your Union Ring or your Dragon Revere? Or Meltdown. Oh, I think. Oh, okay. Norm activating Meltdown and resolving it, and normally Alistair and resolving it normally means that like I can play through a lot of plays because if they set up anything, then I can just go into Mechaba and negate while I'm playing through my plays. It is a little bit harder to, you know, create the link zones the way I want to, because obviously this is a combo deck, but uh, all in all, it's just, this deck has a lot of ways to play through things, especially running all the stuff that it does. I mean, my extra deck is toolbox as heck, so that's definitely uh, one of the, yeah. But Union Hangers plus one, Meltdown makes it so you can't get solemned. There's no reason not to run these guys. And obviously the one invocation, you know, you need it. It's your fusion spell. And anything that isn't part of the combo, Monster Reborn, card's crazy. Just wins you the game. I've I've summoned Ancient Fairy off this too many times and just won the game because I go up to nine and ten thousand health and then you know six thousand health and make the nutty board. I've had you know Saruja decode ABC Buster or Buster here with an underclock next to it. It's just you don't you don't lose when you draw this card and you resolve Ancient Fairy's effects. It's just it, it wins you the game. Way too good of a card. And then we run the two evenly matched in the main. I normally side these out as soon as I can. I think Dark Hole and Raigeki are better, but this is better for going second because it's just when your opponent your opponent makes the big boy plays and then you say no big boy plays and you you activate one of these and then they use their negate. And then you get to resolve, you know, all of your effects. And that's just the hardest part of the metagame right now. Right. Now, if you guys don't want to run this Brilliant Engine because it's too expensive or you feel that Saruja isn't a good card because you're wrong, um, you can run Double Summon. This card is still really good. I mean, normal Alistair into, an a into a letter lets you get the, the draw effect of, like, B or the add effect of A, as well as being able to make an underclock with a Mechaba under it, and reducing something by 2,500 is definitely a big deal. So you would only run one double summon, or how many would you run? At the last YCS, I was running two of this card, and it actually got me out of a couple situations, as well as being able to negate with Mechaba for spell, because normally this deck runs, like, a bunch of monsters, you end on a bunch of monsters, it's really hard. This this card allows you to play through plays as well, like, you know, uh, Alistair gets Strike, Judgmented, Warning, Bottomless, Floodgated, there's just a million things that can happen. And then you just activate Double Summon and they're like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, moving into the extra deck, we're obviously running Seraphonite. This card is, you know, amazing. It's another name for Saryuja. It's just great. We run the one Purgatrio. This is for game. Uh, you can banish your own Ash Blossom as well as theirs, and if you're playing against a deck that has a Fire Reliant monster, this just banishes it and you can attack for a lot of damage. We run double Mechaba because the second one comes up, the third one never comes up. I promise you, in probably 100 games, I think I've needed the third Mechaba once, I've needed the second Mechaba 50 times. It's just, this card is amazing. If you guys didn't know, you can also equip letters to Mechaba so you can make him monster immune, and it's just, also if it gets destroyed, then you can... Do you this? And if you equip letters to this, then, you know, you can make it in invincible. I mean, I've tagged out for Buster, equipped everything to this, and it just becomes a huge invincible beat stick. The only thing that kills it is a Kaiju. You're just like, bang, 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 bang. And since you have the Alistair to go on top of it, all the letters, you know, make it so it can't be destroyed. And if you, wanna, if you are missing a certain immunity, you know, you can always use the traps for, like, removing the destruction effect and using those instead. It's just, this card is a game winner. Negating monsters is ridiculous. Um, obviously, Triple Buster. This card is another one of those cards that just, like, you know, you set it up on board and your opponent just has to play so much differently. This card is a win condition all in itself because it lets you start Yuja going into the second turn. Or, you know, it also lets you, um just make crazy link plays. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably run the firewall and, you know, make the A loops for Troy Mares when those eventually come out. But right now, I think the deck's in a good spot. And I mean, it, it it's it's hard playing through hand traps, but if you if you can manage to like learn what your opponent's playing, what your opponent's gonna do, what they what their reactions are, this is, you know, this is the best card in your deck over Mechaba. But both of them having both boss monsters on board is just a game winner. Period. That's good. Um, the one Ancient Fairy, this is obviously for Distrudo, you know, your main crazy plays, set up the Decode Buster. I run the one Yazi, like I showed you earlier, you can use the Mare Mare to make tokens. Um, currently, I don't have the Link Karibo, 
Uh, I, I lent it out to a friend, and I also was running Utopia Package. That was working out for a while. So I run the Baguska. This card, I mean, I, I very rarely go into it. At a locals level, this card's insane. At a higher level of play, this card does nothing. Yeah. The only deck that it just destroys is, like, Infernoids. That's about it. But doesn't Baguska also hurt you? Baguska doesn't hurt if I go Gadget, Letter, Make Baguska. If my hand is just unplayable, like, I'm talking, like, two evenly matched, Monster Reborn, or, like, Invocation somewhere, I make Baguska, and I just pray. That's okay. this, this card's a prayer. This card is, like, hope. It, it's false hope, but it's hope. Yeah. I think I've I think I've had Baguska actually save me maybe like a quarter of the time. Um, the Cleefor Genius. This card destroys True Dracos if they pop before this comes out. This card will be able to negate all of their field spells, all of their face ups. It's just it's insane, and they can't pop it with the trap card effect. Uh, you know, Link monsters can't destroy this. It's unaffected by those. That doesn't really matter too much, but the spells and traps is more relevant. Um, you can search out the Machine Kaiju with this if you sight it in. I was actually maining it for a while, and it, it came in clutch every now and then, because you go Gadget Special, and if you have a way to make a Buster under it, the next turn you can tag out Special to these zones, and you get to search the Jaizu Kairu. So, at the end of the day, you have your Link 2, you can make Saryuja next turn with your normal summon, as well as putting out, like, Link Zones for Buster, and you have a searchable Kaiju. It's just, it, it's, broken. it's broken, it's broken. If you just put out this card, and you put a Buster under it, your opponent doesn't know what's gonna hit him. There's just so much plus to be had with this card. As well as being able to play through other cards, when I was running Photon Thrasher, I would special it to one of the zones, or I would special it first, and then I'd negate the Photon Thrasher and opponent's monster, and it's a plus plus, because the Photon Thrasher can attack now, and you negate one of their cards. It's just, this card is really good. A lot of people don't realize how good this card is in ABCs. They overpass it, they're like, underclocked better. No, run this card at one. Run, make it when you think you need it, and I promise you it will come out for you. Sorry, little rant. It's not good. Obviously, underclock, I mean, you can reduce by 25 to 3k. Um, it's not much else to say. Opens link zones under Saryuja, as well as being a small beat stick. I've, I've had to attack for game with this once or twice. We run the 1D code. It's just, you know, you need the link 3. There's no good link 3s right now. Maybe Gaia Saber, but... This has the two down arrows and the negate. If you set it up under Saryuja as well as a Mechaba and an ABC with the Saryuja right here, you can also negate one more card by tributing Saryuja. Saryuja isn't too good after it hits the board. It's like, this This card is like, it's just, it's a staple piece. It's a combo piece, it's a staple piece. Uh, we run the Borload. Borload is just, this card, yeah. It's, it's a boss monster, it's an ace monster. I mean, when you can set up four boss monsters, I, I can't tell you how many times I've had like Decode, Borload, Mechaba, Buster, and then you can attack for this and steal their boss monster. You're just like, okay, well I get to push the game now, thanks. This card it does that. Um, and just letting you guys know, I don't run the Link Spider and the Link Karibo in here. The Baguska is gonna go and the Purgatrio might go, especially cause I side Ash, I don't main Ash. So that's, that's how you get the Yazi combo down. Um, and finally, the card I praise. This card has just increased the viability of ABCs times a million. Uh, being able to special summon after you do the draw four. I mean, I've drawn into Invocation and Alistair. I special summon the Alistair out of hand and use the Invocation. It might be a neg, but you just you get the Mechaba. That's that's the whole idea is Mechaba Buster. Mechaba Buster will win you games. Period. It's so hard to play through that. And finally, side deck. This is all preference. Just you know. It's, it's what you guys feel is the best at your locals or at regionals, whatever deck you think you have the hardest trouble with. In my opinion, your biggest trouble is um, uh, Masterpiece. Masterpiece hits the board, you just, you cannot deal with it. You just do not deal with it. You, you have to get two busters on board and you're losing so many resources that you just, Masterpiece hits the board and you lose. Um, you can play through the triple negate boards that Pendulum Magicians can put out right now. Trick Stars, I mean, Reincarnation is the hardest card in the game to play through because you search with Hanger and then they go, you know, flip you, you know? Yeah. It's just insane. But um, in the side deck currently, I'm playing Triple D Barrier. This card's my Rogue Killer. This deck already kills Rogue because banishing their cards. I mean, not a lot of decks can play through Banishment other than the obvious, you know, meta decks. Uh, this card is. That card especially hurts. Uh... What's it called? Pendulum Magicians, right? This card, is, and, and this card is good against Pendulum Magicians as well. I mean, but you have to draw into it, and normally I don't draw into my side. That's just how I, that's how I am as a player. I don't draw into my side, so I'm not good. 
Um, I run Skill Drain, Strike, and Judgment in the side. You lose too much life with your main combos to warrant being playing these in the main. And the reason I don't run Gadget Stun is because I just feel like the power plays with this deck are a lot better. I mean, Tarantuling on their turn, Special and Gadget, and then Special and a Letter is really good. But when you just, you have this back row, like, if you set this back row behind a Mechaba, they just really cannot do anything at all. There's just, there's no hope. You, you set up a Banish and two Negates, and like, it's, it's almost as bad as Pendulum Magicians. And I know you probably think, why play this deck when you can play Pendulum Magicians? There's a lot of merit to it. I mean, this deck pluses almost as well. Electromite's obviously, you know, the best card in the format. It's going to get hit. This, I can promise, this deck will never get hit. This deck is never Unless going to get tops. hit. Unless it tops, yeah, but like, ABC is not that big of a It's a really good competitive wow. role that it's in. It's competitive not even role, because it's, it's, you look at every list, ever, there's bound to either be an ABC in the top 32, if not top 32. Yeah, as our friend David said, that's what. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Dark Rescue? <laughs> we run the Dark Hole, Kaiju Slumber, Raigeki. Uh, you need your board wipes evenly, doesn't cut it. Especially when you lose your battle phase. I normally side these into that going into second. I mean, if I had the third, I think I'd find space for it, but the deck list is really tight. I mean, I could maybe cut Mirror Mirror, but. You run Mirror Mirror? Yes. Um, yeah, you need your board wipes. I try not to play evenly. It's good going second after the die roll. After that, it's just about useless in my mind. I mean, if I'm in a matchup where like they can set up multiple negates, like World Chalice with Gamma Seal, you just I I'll put in all this and I'll main kaiju's. It's like, you know, you pop the kaiju effect and then they have to Gamma Seal if they're out of spell counters, and then you go right Geki. That's it. Um, we run Gamma Seal, Humongous, Jaizu Kairu. This sh probably should be a Dogeron for multiple reasons, Purgatrio for Banish, as well as the Dark Hole effect. Yeah, I mean, um... So, that, so that's why you don't run two more Gamma Seals. Yeah, double Gamma Seal, in my opinion, isn't worth it, especially because if you draw the Jaizu Kairu, the Kaiju Slumber's dead. Okay, and I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've drawn into Kaiju Slumber for top deck, and it just, you know, it wipes the board. I mean, this is... This is coming from a guy that barely sees the side deck, so. Yeah. And the final three cards in the side are Ash Blossom. Now, of course. you think, why don't you run this in the main? This card just kills, you know, half the decks in the game. Well, the three decks that are the best right now are Trick Stars, Dracos, and Pendulum Magicians, and this doesn't do shit against them. This doesn't do shit. I main draw. Yeah, so, I mean, Dracos, you stop one search. They literally search probably about ten times. Um, How are you going to get over World Chalice? Because World Chalice was up there the other day. World Chalice, like I said, you special one of your kaijus, you activate the effect, they use Gamma Seal Negate, you pop a board wipe. Sounds like you need two cards in your hand, but you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world to draw into. And, Everyone uh, knows what Ash Blossom does. So. Yeah, this card is really good in certain conditions. I mean, this, good, this card was good in Spiral format because you had two outs to, what's it called, Double Helix. Droll was really good against them after you gammaed the Quick Fix or the Spiral, or the Double Helix. But, yeah, the bi the biggest reason why I side these is because they're just, I don't know, I, I draw into it and I draw maybe multiples. I mean, even if I draw one, I stop one negate and it doesn't feel like it does anything. They just do their thing anyway because they have just a million searches in one turn. Alright, so, do you think your deck is ready for SC Regional Cups? Um, I think I need the one more evenly. I need to find space. Um, when you find the evenly, what do you go to move? That's the hardest question because this deck is just a combo deck. It's as tight as it gets. I mean, I don't want to go to forty-one. There's just so many good cards in here. I might drop the gadgets and just run double summons instead. But you know, it, it's not the same. Well. Have a nice day, guys, and good luck. All right, so Sid is going to right now do uh, the top five cards of his deck and what he wants to see. Gorgeous. How Just would you do that? Gorgeous. This is, this is like, my ideal perfect hand. First of all, before you even do anything, does this deck like to go first, or do they like to go second? Always first. Always Setting first. up the gates, that's what this deck does. Okay. So you guys are going to see the full combo right now. I just I drew perfectly into it. All right, go right ahead. Terraforming, and we're going to search for Dragon's Ravine here. Sorry that everything isn't already laid out. Um, yeah. So... 
We're going to activate Brilliant Fusion, and we're going to send our Garnet as well as Performage Trick Clown. So then we're going to Fusion Summon for Seraphonite as well as activate Trick Clown's effect, a special summon. Um, next thing, life points for Trick Clown, right? Yeah, 1,000 isn't a big deal. Destrudo is, you know, obviously a bad one. We're going to activate Meltdown. We're going to activate it right here. And we're going to search for Alistair the Invoker. Um, we're going to activate an effect for additional Normal Summon and Normal Summon Alistair the Invoker. Use his effect to search for Invocation. Uh, this, this is the hardest effect to resolve because everybody knows to hit Alistair in the combo. And now, Sometimes, if you can't do that, then you just, you know, try to go into Saryuja and hard draw the invocation. Because, you know, it has happened to me a couple times where you hard draw another invocation with Saryuja, and you just shuffle all their cards back. And you still get the mecha, but even though they negated Alistair. Yeah. So, now we're going to activate Hanger. Hanger's effect lets us add a letter to our hand. Almost always add B. There are very specific situations where you add A, like against Trick Stars, and you need to kill a Candina, but that's about it. Um, now we're gonna normal normal for Gold Gadget. Gold Gadget's effect, we're gonna special summon B Buster, and Union Hanger's effect, we're gonna equip to B. So we're gonna equip A. Now, if you guys don't know the interaction between B and A both hitting the graveyard simultaneously, you can search with B and then add B with A. This is really good for card advantage. Uh, so then we're going to link using all of our monsters here. We're going to leave the gold gadget. It really doesn't matter what you keep. You just need to keep the zone open. But the reason why you do this is to keep our, you know, link zones open under Saryuja. So, um, we're going to shuffle a couple times and then we're going to activate our draw four effect. So is that Skulder? Yes, this is, this is Saryuja. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, they changed his name, so... Another thing about this combo, using the letters, is that you can actually mask his effect by, you know... So let's say they have an Ash Blossom in hand, you go Saryuja's Mandatory uh, Chain Link 1, and then you can go B Buster Chain Link 2, A Assault Core Chain Link 3. So then, they have to activate something in response to A Assault Core, so if they Gamma... You know, you don't get to add this, but that's better than, you know, getting this gamma So we're gonna add this back with A. We're gonna use B Buster's effect to search C, obviously the last letter we need. Right here, and we're gonna activate our user to draw four. Now, another thing with the Saryuja combo is you can shuffle these letters that you draw back, which is really, really good, including that you can search most of them. So, one, two, three, four. Now, we just drew into more hand traps, which is honestly insane. Um, we're obviously going to shuffle these because we're going first, we already resolved Brilliant. Uh, we're going to keep the Hand Traps, the Invocation, and probably these two. So we're going to send Sea Crush to the bottom as well. And look at that, we're plus four already, as well as setting up Buster. Uh, yeah. So, now we're going to Special Summon off of Saryuja's effect for B-Buster, and we're going to Link. We're going to link for Underclock here. Uh, we're going to use B-Buster's effect to search that C we just put to the bottom. Now we're going to activate Dragon's Ravine. We're going to activate Ravine's effect. We're going to send C. And we're going to send Destrudo from the deck. Honestly, you don't need to do this. This just sets up for next turn so that you can Yazi and make the Mare Mare. And, you know, you can make the Boar Load. It's really good, but, I mean, if you wanted to just keep the the pieces in hand, you can Invocation and send C as material. But that's just not, you know, that's not ideal in my mind. Um, so next we're going to activate Invocation. Normally, we're going to banish something completely irrelevant. We need Alistair, and I would say Gold Gadget. You never want a Monster Reborn Gold Gadget over Trick Clown. Um, we'll go for... Oh, excuse me. We're going to go for Mechaba, and we're going to activate Invocation's Graveyard Effect to shuffle itself back into the deck and add Alistair back to hand. From the Banish Stone into the hand? From the Banish into the hand. And finally, we're going to banish our letters from hand. Or from Grave, excuse me for ABC Dragon Buster. So, yeah, that's, you know, I drew kind of nutty, I'm not gonna lie. 
But, yeah. And also, you know, again, like I said, if you want to use the invocation, you can still have this in hand for Mechaba negating this. You can have this as a hand trap to boost either of these. And then you can use these as, uh, you know, the hand traps that they're meant to be. So, in total, we have one negate, two negate, a pop, a banish, and a hand trap for boosting. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, this was Adrian from UV Row. Comment, like, and subscribe, and subscribe for more. We're going to be coming up with more videos soon. I'll see you guys there.